Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be going over some tips that I really wish that I knew when I first started playing Final Fantasy XIV. Some of these things I've only found out in the last couple of weeks and some even days so I really hope some of you veterans and new players will find these things useful. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that I wish I knew much sooner in my time playing FF14 is the timers menu. Now I only found out about this very recently. You can go over to the duty icon at the bottom here and press timers and you can also do it by pressing control U. It will also bring it up if you want the shortcut and it will bring up all your in-game timers so when you can next do your mission on your grand company um, missions when you can next do your custom delivery and how many allowances you'll have left when your t uh, fashion report how much time you have left um, all, all of these things and I had no idea that it was here and we even have it for a state so you know when you can do your next lottery projects um, sub aquatic voyages there's so many things um, and all of this knowledge was here and I had no idea and I definitely wish I knew sooner because sometimes I go into the game and I'm like which dailies have I done which dailies do I need to do which weeklies do I need to do and it's hard to kind of keep up with um what you finished when and when you can next do it when things reset so this is a really useful window to keep up with all the different things that you have unlocked and what you've been uh working on in the game and when you can next pick it up and carry on and also be more efficient um i'm doing a lot of beast tribes at the moment and sometimes i'm there and i'm like oh when can when do i get my next set of allowances well now i can easily just come over here and have a look so that's the first thing the next thing we're going to take a look at involves the market board so if we come over here to our uh, limpsa market board and i choose a random ingredient let's go with um buffalo milk so if i hover over the milk and say i needed to i was doing a culinary quest or something and i needed some buffalo milk and i was i click on it and i look at all these prices and i go well that's way too much money i can't afford that i mean obviously i could but it would you know that's a lot of money to spend on buffalo milk if i come over here and i hover over it someone is crafting behind me if i come over and i hover over it and you see that it says there shop selling price for gill and that essentially means that some npc somewhere in the game will sell this to me for four gill a piece so i'm i you know instead of coming here and thinking that i have to buy it off the market board there's no place that i can buy it what am i going to do i you know i can't be bothered to go and milk the cows myself um that that shop selling price essentially means that I could buy it in the game for a lot cheaper and I didn't realize this and obviously it doesn't apply to all items there are some things that NPCs don't sell um let's see if we can find one here so cream cheese shop selling price if it says none that means there aren't any NPCs that sell the item um and it's important to distinguish between sells for and shop selling price so as you can see it says sells for one gill that means that if I sold it to an NPC that's how much money I'd make that doesn't mean that they'll sell it to me for that price that would be if I were to sell it so as you can see we can buy blue cheese from an NPC we can buy we can't buy rolling berry cheese we can buy um night milk but it says it's restricted um we can buy yak milk we, can, we can't buy sweet cream milk and you can just go through and you can just see all of the different things that you could buy within the game um, from an NPC without having to spend an extortionate amount on the market board, which I have definitely done before. And if you're not sure which NPC, you can easily just Google FF14 blue cheese, FF14 buffalo milk, and it will bring up um, where you know which npc in the game sells it and it will also give you their coordinates so you can go and save yourself a bunch of gill which brings me to my next tip with regards to coordinates so if i come over here say for example you know i've i'm in limpsa maybe i'm a little bit lost or i'm playing with a friend and they can't find me so if i go into the chat and i type 
uh, using the less than and more than symbols, I type pause and put those on the end and I press enter, it will bring up my coordinates. So it says I'm in limps and limps at lower decks, 9.5, 10.8, and I can click on that um, coordinates in the chat here that set of coordinates and like it will flag on the map where I am so that <laughs> I can see in a nice bold red icon um, where I am on the map in case um, and your in your you know your party will be able to see that in the chat they'll be able to click on it which I really wish I knew sooner because there's so many times where I have been lost or you know with me and my boyfriend and we're doing crafting together or gathering together and I'm like I'm here and I'm here where are you I can't find you it would be so simple to just type where I am and for a, a nice flag to come up and for them to be able to uh, come and find me. So that's a really handy tip if you're playing with other people or you're just not sure where you are. Um, um, you can type your coordinates and flag yourself on the map in a nice big red flag. So my next tip while we're on the map is related to etherize you know sometimes you you know you load into the game or you load into an area in the game and you're looking at your map and you're like where the hell is the etherite i cannot see it and you're zooming around and you're trying to find where you are a handy tip if you press control um you can actually pop up the etherite so that it it essentially goes on top of everything else so if i have to toggle it so i have to hold it down for it to stay there and when i let it go it disappears again but if i press it it essentially puts itself above everything else so i can quickly just see oh the etherite is over here um it only works for the big ones i don't think it's doing anything for the small mini ones but it's just a really handy tool if you know you're <laughs> your map's full of icons you've got loads of quests and icons and you can't see where your next fast travel location is if you just press control it'll pop up your etherite crystal for you so you can see where it is without having to zoom in so i like to keep my map here and i usually keep it about this size because i'm streaming and i can easily just press control and see where my etherite is and easily travel and you can even click on it so um while you've got control held down if you click on it there you go whereas if i try to do that whilst you know it's not popped up i'm clicking on anything random and i can't see what you know what i'm clicking on sort of thing so um yeah you just uh press control click on it and your ether is there and you can quickly travel without all the fiddly mess of locating around all your icons and uh, next we're going to go over inventory so another thing that i wish that i knew a lot sooner while playing this game especially when i got into the whole business of having retainers and such is the fact that you can change how your inventory looks so if you go into your game settings and you go into character configuration and you go into item settings and you go into inventory interface you can actually change how your inventory looks so um i usually have mine like this like into different sections but you can actually change it to have it expanded so it looks like this instead where it's just um splits it into two and then you have this and this or you can have it open all click apply where you just have it all in one big um menu like this and then you have your key items and crystals like this i personally don't like having my inventory like this because i just find it a bit too overwhelming i do like to have it um the normal way but you can do it for your inventory interf interface and you can also do it for your retainers as well um you can only have your retainers in the expanded version it doesn't look like you can have them in the open all version and there are different settings you can do here just to make it easier for you to be organized because as we know with mmos it's very difficult to keep your stuff organized especially when you're leveling crafters and gatherers and you've got so much stuff and you know you've got all these different ingredients and things and it can get a bit messy so sometimes it is handy to have it um have it whichever way works best for you and just to know that there are some options for how you want to um change your inventory in game 
um, some other settings that are really useful. So if you go into character configuration and you go over to control settings, another thing that I found that was quite time consuming when I was playing the game is, especially when I finished M Walker and I was going back and doing my dailies and stuff, is every single time I was going into a new dungeon or a new trial, I was getting the cutscene every single time at the beginning and at the end. And it was quite annoying to, to, to press skip and sometimes you just want to be you know straight into the game and ready to go um but there is actually the option in the settings to skip playback of previously viewed scenario cutscenes so main scenario cutscenes if you've already watched them and you know you don't want to keep watching them when you redo content you can make sure that if you've previously viewed it before the next time you view it it will just auto skip and it won't even come up um and it's again for transportation cutscenes and you can do it as well for housing cutscenes. I've kept the housing ones on because um, that's something I haven't really gone through yet. So when they do come up, I would like to see them. But that is something that you can do just to save yourself a little bit of time and not have to um, worry about rewatching them every single time. You can just have them auto skipped when you load into content you've already done before. So those were just a few things that I really wish I knew sooner whilst playing Final Fantasy 14. I hope you guys found a few of these useful and you learned something new. I've definitely got a whole host of other things that I wish I knew sooner so there'll definitely be a part two to this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!